In the first part of our blog series on SmartList, we created the SmartList object called Bank Balance. In the second part, we set the default to only show certain fields, and we set the default to automatically set the maximum number of records so we don't have to change that. We could look at everything. In this part, you'll notice when I double click on any of these, nothing happens, unlike some of our other default smart list. And that's because we don't have the go to set for it. So what I'm going to do now is click on my smart list that I created and I'm going to now click on modify. You'll notice that prior to that the button was dimmed and now it's available so I can click on it. And what I'm going to do is create a go to for this particular smart list. When I click on this, I get this uh, empty field because I haven't put anything in it. This is why when we double clicked, it was uh, nothing happened. I'm going to click on add and you'll notice I can add three different things. I can add a smart list, another smart list, I could add a navigation list inside a GP or a web page. I'm going to click that I want to, this to go to a navigation list. So I'm going to enter in checkbook navigation list. This series is financial and the primary list I'm looking for is the one called checkbooks. And I don't have a default view so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that the empty and go ahead and click on save. And now I'm going to say the default go to so when I double click on it, it will automatically go to that. Now I can create other ones if I was interested as well. For example, I can open up and create the smart list for bank transactions and go ahead and leave that and I'm going to just come in and say bank transactions in smart list and go ahead and click on save. So now I have two but this one is the one the checkbook navigation list is the one I want to be the default. So I'll click OK and OK again. So now when I'm in my smart list you'll notice that my go to button is now available and I can see both options here. So for example I can click on that smart list object and it'll take me to the bank transactions one. But I want to go back to my bank balances and I'm just going to double click on one. And you'll notice the screen behind me then took me directly to my navigation list. So if I'm interested in the flex benefits bank account for example, I can now do whatever it is I need to do from here. This is a clever way of working in SmartList. I hope this helps. Thanks.